Hello and welcome to the Go Friends to a New York Times Hard Studio Co. Today is December 16. I hope my voice will hold up. I just finished recording an entire chapter of a book that I'm currently reading with a language partner of mine in China. She and her entire family are down with COVID-19 and she needed something to listen to when we can't meet on video at the moment. So let's see how we can solve this puzzle. There's a six here and here, and there's a six here as well. And they block these three cells and these three and these two. So a six for row three must go here. I can see the five here blocks these three cells and the five blocks these two. So a five for row five must go either here or here. And therefore a five for row six must go here or here. And the two here and here puts a two in one of these two cells. And this two blocks these cells, this two blocks these. So a two for the first column must go here or here. And for the third column, therefore, here or here. And the other digit that would have to go together with the twos here is going to be a four because of this four and this four. They are blocking these five cells. So this is a two four and this is a two four. I'll have to wait before I can find out where the remaining one, seven and eight can go in these three cells. Of course, an eight must go in one of these two. There's a two here and here, and that puts a two in this cell. This three blocks these three cells. This three blocks these three cells. Putting a three in this cell or in this cell. It doesn't matter which cell it's going to end up being, but in conjunction with this three here and this three, we know now that the three for the center column has got to go here. Now we got a two, three here and a two, three here, putting a two and a three in two of these three cells. The three here and the three here blocks this cell. And therefore, we know that one of these two cells must be a three. And that makes one of these two cells a three as well. We need to find an eight for column five, don't we? This eight prevents an eight from going here. This eight prevents an eight from going here and here. Therefore, an eight must go here. That was kind of easy. And now we got this eight here and this eight here blocking these four cells. And we got this eight blocking this cell, making this an eight. These two eights here now put an eight in this cell. Remember how we said that one of these two cells would have to be a three? I will recap. Because there's a three here and a three here, a three can't go in any of these four cells. There's a three here. That means that one of these two cells must be a three. But the exact same now is going to happen to the eight. This eight here blocks these three cells. This eight blocks this cell. And we remember that these two had to be a two and a four, so they can't be eights either. So these two cells therefore have to be a three and an eight. The remaining cells, namely this cell, this and this cell have to be a five, seven, and a nine. The three here, forces a three into this cell because of the three here, right? So these two threes now put the three in this cell or in this cell, except they can't go here due to the three in the top row. So this is a three. Now this three and this three force a three into this cell because this three blocks this cell. Now this cell cannot be a two, nor can these two so a two will have to go in one of these two cells for this column. 
And that means that this cell must be a two for column nine because this two is blocking these two cells, right? Now we need to find a one, four, and a nine for these remaining three cells. And those will have to wait because I can't see that yet. I'm finding that whenever things get a little difficult, and I stress little in the New York Times puzzles, there's always a way out. And in this case, for example, Look at the one, two, three, uh, four, and eight here. We still need to find uh, five, six, seven, and a nine to complete this row. Now here you've got a five, six, and a nine, and that leaves this cell for a seven. It's as easy as that in many instances. Now these two cells have to be a six and a seven because this seven blocks this cell, this six blocks this cell, so these are six and seven. And that makes this a one because that's the last digit missing. And now because of the one blocking these two cells and the one blocking these two, a one will have to go here or here in this row. And that means that a one for this row here must go here or here. The reason I'm mentioning this is uh, for my own memory because now I know that this cell or this cell will have to be a one. So these two being a six and a seven, we still need to find a one, four and a five for this cell, this cell and this cell. There's a five and a one here making this a four. And these now have to be a one and a five, making this one a four or a nine. For these two cells, this four, forces a four to go here and the nine to go here. And now this four blocks this cell. So a four for the bottom row must go here or here and for row eight, here or here. For column five, however, we need to find a seven and it can't go here because of this seven. So this is a seven. And the last digit that we need is a six. Here it is. These two cells now have to be a one and a nine. And these two have to be a five and a seven. Let's for a moment get back to the two and a four here. That leaves only one cell to be filled. And of course, that must be an eight now. I'm making a mental note of a nine, having to go here or here. I will explain why. These two have to be a two and a four, therefore they cannot be nine. These two have to be a three and an eight, therefore they also cannot be nine. This cannot be nine because of the nine in the row, and that leaves only these two cells for a nine, and therefore one of these two cells will have to be a nine. And that little analysis finds me a seven, doesn't it? Because this seven cannot go in any of these three cells. It cannot go here because this is going to be a two or a four. And besides there is a seven already in this column. So this cannot be a seven, these three cannot be a seven and these have to be a three and an eight as we proved earlier. So this is now a seven. This seven and this seven and this seven forces a seven in this cell. And now we know how to distribute the six and the seven in these two cells, don't we? This is now a seven and this is a six because of the seven up here. This is now a nine or a five and this is a nine or a five. And I'm not allowed to place them yet because as we recall, one of these two could still be a nine. so. I cannot be sure that this is going to be a nine and this is therefore a five. So I'll have to do a little bit more work. But it's uh, slowly coming together, isn't it? Because if one of these two has got to be a nine and we have got a nine already in row two, the nine for row three has got to go here. There's just no other place. And this nine and this nine now puts a nine here. 
and therefore in one of these two cells, right? And since there's a ghost nine in one of these two cells, this up here cannot be a nine, therefore this must be a nine, making this a five. And now we can find the last digit for this cell here, because we know now that these three cells have to be a one, six, and a nine. And these are three and eight. That makes this a five, doesn't it? And this four blocking this cell, making this a four, of course, now. And now one of these two will have to be a four. What else is missing from the column? A five and a one. Let's see. Well, this is a one or a five, isn't it? And the five can't go here, so now it's a little, it's a little foggy. Let's uh, do something else. Ah, the one here, of course, puts a one in this cell. And this last digit now must be a six, and that should help us. Because the six here and the six here and these two sixes gives me the six for the top row. These two now have to be a six and a nine. There's a six in the row already, so the nine must go here and the six, therefore, here. These two now have to be a five and a nine. And that makes this one a one. And now we need to find a four and a seven for these two. Still can't place them. Because we found this one now, we can place a one here and a five here. This five and this five and this five fours a five into this square right here. Now this has got to be a four. These last two cells have to be a two and a one. It can't be a one because of this one. So this must be a two and this must be a one. And therefore this is a four. And uh, this one and this one plus the one down here is going to put a one here and a two here. Now we got this two blocking these cells and this two blocking these two cells, making this a two. This is a three or an eight, remember? This therefore must be a three or an eight and it cannot be an eight because of this eight. So this is a three, this is a three, this is an eight and this therefore must be an eight, making this a four. And that makes this a four. This is going to be a seven. And that makes this a seven. Here we're going to enter a five, making this a five and this a nine, a nine here and a one here. I think it was quite a fun little puzzle. It wasn't uh, by any means a difficult puzzle and uh, certainly not a hard one. It was a typical New York Times so-called hard puzzle. But I hope that you enjoyed watching how I solve it. And I think that you should go try these puzzles yourselves before you watch the videos. In any, Anyway, I thank you for watching and I hope you'll be back for more. Thank you and goodbye for now.